welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning, slow living and lifestyle. So in today's video I wanted to talk about how to start enjoying housework and cleaning and basically how to beat laziness as a homemaker. I think even if you're a full-time homemaker or a part-time homemaker if you work outside of the house it's something that everyone universally struggles with at some point whether that's just the growing pains of getting older and learning that you have to take responsibility for those things for yourself or some people do just generally <laughs> hate the act of cleaning itself so hopefully in today's video I'm going to take you through some tips that you could start to incorporate into your own life which hopefully is going to make the process of cleaning and homemaking and doing your housework a lot more of an enjoyable process and something that you might even start looking forward to doing. So the first tip I want to say is number one I think with cleaning it's important to get out of the mentality of feeling like everything has to be 100% clean at all times. I think it's much more important to have sort of a routine and a schedule of doing a little bit at a time and different rooms rather than feeling like every time you clean you have to do your whole house top to bottom, it has to overtake an entire day and I think maybe that's one of the biggest things that people go wrong with especially if you work full time out of the home is feeling like you only have two days for a weekend and you've got to sacrifice one of them just to have a full cleaning day or you can't keep on top of it. I think it's much more manageable to break it up into 20 minute chunks. So maybe 20 minutes before you leave for work and 20 minutes when you get in. And then maybe just at the weekend, it's just topping up and just doing the extra little things. Or if you are a full-time homemaker, again, just don't feel the pressure to keep on top of everything constantly because it is impossible especially if you have a family things are always going to get messy and actually there's something to be said for part of being a homemaker is allowing people to live and use the space and feel comfortable in the space and if you're too on everyone about being clean 24 7 it makes the whole family really uptight and scared to use anything so I think getting that balance between doing a little bit every day but also in a way dropping your standards so that it's not overwhelming for you or the people that live in your home. So just take it slower a little bit each day and just change your mentality and just try to enjoy those 20 minutes a day. So that moves me on to my second point which is something I even went wrong with the other day. So because I have started filming cleaning videos on my channel I was so focused on filming that I did about three hours of cleaning without listening to any music or a podcast and at the end of it I felt really miserable and I was like why have I just hated that? The reason why is because whenever I clean I always choose a podcast or music to listen to and it just elevates the experience so much it makes it so much more fun sometimes I do stop to have little dance breaks or sometimes in the podcast it will make me laugh and it just makes the task of cleaning a lot more enjoyable because you're not just rushing to get it all done it almost forces you to take it slower because your attention is half elsewhere obviously there's something to be said as well about being mindful and focusing on the tasks you're actually doing and I do think it's nice to have a bit of both maybe do the mindful cleaning where you're really paying attention on tasks where you really actually enjoy it's no secret I just love cleaning my sink like I could clean my sink all day and I'd be a very happy woman I also love cleaning my toilet <laughs> so maybe they are the tasks that I don't necessarily need music or a podcast for but tasks like changing the bed sheets or cleaning out my shower there's certain things that I really do need that extra motivation for so definitely allow yourself to spend a bit of time on your favorite music app and put together a playlist that's going to motivate you inspire you and get you dancing although sometimes I do like to go for the slower music I love Doris Day K Sera K Sera oh, it just makes me feel so happy I literally twirl around my kitchen like a mad crazy woman <laughs> my next point is use social media to get inspired so I've been quite vocal on my Instagram on here about what I think the dangers of social media are and comparison and it taking over your life and almost living through social media rather than in real life but 
I think for cleaning motivation, social media is absolutely incredible and it's part of the reason I started this channel as well because I love watching clean with me videos. I love watching other people's processes of homemaking and even if I don't copy their routines or I might do things completely different to other people, especially because a lot of the people I watch are from America. So my life might be completely different. Still just watching the act of someone else taking care of their home and their family is enough for me to really motivate me. So in your downtime, I think it's good to allow yourself to follow cleaning accounts that inspire you and also watch YouTube videos. You're more than welcome to watch mine, of course. <laughs> the other good thing about clean with me is and social media is I I think social media does a really good job of glamorizing everything that it sort of does so in clean with me videos it makes the tasks look a lot more appealing they go faster there's nice music in the background and the way people edit them it sort of glorifies the act of cleaning which then makes you want to do it more if that makes sense so Obviously with other topics that can be a bad thing but in the aspect of homemaking I think people sharing on social media I think it's such a positive thing and I think the more inspiration we can all have to look after our family and homes the better. My next tip for enjoying housework and cleaning is trying out new products and new routines. I think sometimes we can get stuck in the raw and follow the same old routine using the same products and I think with housework it is very monotonous. You finish it one day and there's more to do the next day and it's the same tasks day after day so I think if you are someone who likes a bit of change and gets bored easily a really simple way to change it up is just change up your cleaning products every now and then I know at the moment there's a huge push for more non-toxic cleaning products and using products that are more homemade and natural things like white vinegar bicarbonate of soda I've seen people making sprays with essential oils and things like that so if that's something that will inspire you to get into cleaning and to change it up a little bit definitely look into that I'm actually going to look into that myself soon but I have a lot of products first I need to get through and then maybe after that that is something I can use to inspire me to change up a little bit but again if that's not your game and you do enjoy normal cleaning products that's totally okay as well I think sometimes online it can be this way or the highway and judge everyone else that doesn't do it <laughs> but if it is easier for you just to nip down to the shop and pick the best smelling spray you can find then of course go for that as well. The next point I want to make is reframing how you view cleaning and housework so I think in today's modern society looking after your home and your family and doing housework is kind of frowned upon people might make remarks say if you're folding your husband's clothes or something like that people will make remarks of you know you being his slave or his maid or something like that and I think over time we have learned as a society to look down upon people that want to take care of their homes and a lot of times I see praise for people who maybe clean outside of the home but then as soon as you clean in the home if you do slightly more than your partner people can use it to degrade you or make out that maybe your husband doesn't respect you and things like that so I think over time we have framed it in our mind to be a chore and to be something that you shouldn't be proud of but I actually think it's the opposite. I think taking care of your home is one of the most important things in life. The reason I think that is because the home is where families grow, it's where people come back and rest and rest is so important and families are so important so by taking care of your home you really are setting the foundations for society in my view. I love that quote that is on one of my mugs in my homemaker store which says homemaking is surely in reality the most important work in the world and that was a quote by C.S. Lewis who said that homemaking is basically setting the foundation for all other careers to exist and I totally agree with that so I think reframe it in your mind and allow yourself to see the importance of what you're actually doing of course on the surface cleaning is a very simple task it doesn't take much brain energy and it's quite easy to do 
However, the impacts in society, I think if you can hold on to that and think about how you're taking care of your family and how people will feel living in a clean, calming environment, then that's gonna set you up for success. As well as reframing your mind and seeing the benefits of what you're doing, I think it's also important to reframe your mind from it being a chore into actually being downtime. For me personally, people think I'm mad when I say that my cleaning and when I take care of my home, it is my downtime. It relaxes me it calms my anxiety and I think that's because it is quite a mindful activity when you're doing it when you're doing it it's very hard to think of anything else or your worries and also they do say a tidy home is a tidy mind and I completely agree with that when your space is clear and clutter free and clean there's something that makes me just want to grab a cup of tea and put my feet up and relax the next point I want to make is it's okay to allow yourself to still hate certain tasks. So cleaning is so broad, isn't it? There's so many different tasks involved in it and so many different like effort levels required. And I think it's okay to identify the tasks that you just hate and you're never going to enjoy and either work away around them, pass them on to your partner <laughs> or just spread them out over the week so you're not doing them all at once type of thing. So the things, for example, I absolutely hate is cleaning my shower so I try and put that on a different day to like changing the bed sheets for example because that's another thing I absolutely hate the other thing I don't particularly enjoy is doing the dishes so Paul helps me out with doing the dishes most nights and I'm really really grateful for that <laughs> there's something about doing the dishes I think it's because I grew up with a dishwasher I just I don't enjoy it and I don't think that's going to change and that's okay that doesn't mean I'm a bad homemaker or I don't care about my family it's just the certain tasks that I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just never going to enjoy. I think that also takes the pressure off a little bit as well, because if you think that you're a failure unless you enjoy every aspect of homemaking, then that just is unrealistic and it's going to set you up for failure. So I think write down a list of maybe tasks you love doing and tasks you hate doing. And then first of all, work out a way around them so for example with ironing I don't iron anymore I use a steamer so I hang my clothes up and if the creases haven't fallen by the time I wear it I will just give it a quick steam so that's my way around that my final point to enjoy cleaning is to tag it on to self-care so something I love to do is cleaning my house do a brief clean everywhere and then run the bath or have a cup of tea and I think in that way it's almost set up in my mind to be a peaceful relaxing time whereas some people they might get in from work quickly rush about cleaning and then have to put tea on i think it's important to try and carve out a bit of extra time so that you might have 10 minutes at the end of each cleaning session just to slow down focus on yourself and give yourself that time to put your feet up and look around and enjoy the environment that you've created for yourself as well with homemaking it's not all for other people it's for yourself as well and living in a cozy warm clean environment is something that you deserve and it's actually in itself an act of self-care it might be hard to do and it's one of those self-care tasks that requires motivation and maybe at first doesn't feel like it is self-care but it's something that you can reap the rewards of afterwards so definitely give yourself that time to reap the rewards and to be thankful to yourself for the time you have spent on your home so I really hope you have enjoyed this video of how to enjoy housework and cleaning. I hope it helps you with laziness and I hope it gives you the motivation you need to keep on top of your housework weekly and enjoy it and feel good about yourself and feel amazing about what you're doing for yourself and your family. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did and I will see you in my next video.